Okay, Grant, this is from last week on Thursday. I want you to look at this. Uh, there's a lot in here, and um, a lot in this. There's a lot of swings in here. Um, one thing that I noticed, there's a few things I've noticed that, you know, in, in watching guys, sometimes the amount of energy that they exude and, and they put forth through batting practice. Um, is not really quite what it is in the game. And then the, the first part of this lesson, uh, you'll see this is front toss, and you know the energy level is just not quite there. But what I want you to start doing from now on is when you do front toss or you do T work, try to at least get you know 10 or 15 of them at game speed as much as you can. I know it's hard, but just try to do that. Also, um, you know, because the amount of energy that you, you practice, you know, the way you practice is kind of how you play. And I want you to be, um, you know, in a good frame of mind during your practice. Now, what I've done is I've done some side-by-side -side, uh, visuals where, you know, showing a guy your, your age, and then I've got a couple of guys that are playing pro ball uh, in the visuals. This is another high school guy, and you can see the kind of energy that he's putting forth, and then you can see your energy. You know, you can compare the two. You can see the angles and the legs and the and the, the the amount of energy he puts into the swing. One thing I did notice that uh, you you really like to use your hands, and that's a good thing. You have real good hand-eye coordination. I see that. What we're going to do is we're going to focus on your feet. Now, when the pitcher loads, certain things happen. Um, he has to start the, the process and I will show we'll do some uh, video next week where I'm getting the camera behind you and you can see the the process okay um, you know having the ball having the bat head in the line of travel as long as you can having the right kind of angles now this is live arm here and you can see a little bit more energy in your swings in live arm, I mean, good follow through. Uh, missed it, but I mean, most of them you hit real well. So, uh, good mechanics, but uh, you know, you can definitely see a more uh, the more energy into the swing. Um, I'd like to see you you have your right toe, which is the toe closest to the catcher, pointing just a little bit more towards the plate. Especially when you start facing guys that throw really hard. It just helps. Okay, now this is Brian Harris. He played shortstop at Vanderbilt with Steven. You can see the energy and the extension that he gets. Go back and look at this video as many times as you want. You know, go back and then slide the little cursor and look at the extension uh, that the other guys are getting. Um, Caleb Joseph, he's a Baltimore um, catcher triple a you both get good extension on that pitch in very similar location and you can see that mechanically you're very close to what some of these guys that are playing pro ball are so it's not like you're just light years away from where guys that are playing pro ball are but where you may be lacking is the is just your your approach and that sounds simple but that could be one of the biggest things that would help you in your in your playing career never helps to work on your mechanics start looking at your you know the, the way that you uh, swing it about uh, swing at a ball and it never hurts to look at that and analyze it but it, a lot of times it's just what's between your ears and we'll work on that and uh, I'll see you next time